Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? It's Jay here. I'm back in my E46. It's a diesel. I know it's not a petrol, but we are going to go and talk about data logging today. And for that, you will need a data cable. Specifically, you'll need a K plus DCAN data cable to use with a Windows based laptop. Obviously, the data cable plugs into your ODB port. Or, or, or is it your data cable plugs into your OBD port? I always get confused which way that is. <laughs> okay, right, for, without further ado, I'll crack on and show you the program that I use for my data logins called Testo, and I will put a link to the program where you can go and download it. On and show you Testo, go through the screens with you, and so you know how to set it up and how to do a data log so the first thing we have to do when we've connected the laptop to the car and the ignition is turned on you need to detect the ecu so main menu detect ecu click on detect and that's my ecu that's over here what's called jobs is the parameters of what the information the tester will bring back from your ECU when you're driving your car. Basic data log, you'll have that in your, once you download tester, you'll have that. Go to go to tools and custom jobs and these are all, all the parameters you will see this is what I have set up for my data log. So these are all the parameters which I use. Testo will bring back me the data from the ECU. Well, we'll put it into a spreadsheet, which then I will basically edit the spreadsheet to get the data that I want. Now you can add and take off parameters. So just go click on that one and you just click on delete it will get rid of it but i'm not going to do that because i don't want to mess with this one but you can add other things on so you go to table and then you get a list of all these different things that my ecu can measure and if you want to just add something you just double click on it so if you go on that and if i double clicked on it, it would actually add it to the table. If I want to pick pair of value, I'll double click on that. So now it should add pair of value to my other screen. So if I minimize this and go back on this one, we should have pedal value. And there you go. I've got a pedal value there and if I want to take that off I'll just click on that and pedal value is gone and that's all there is to it now that we've got this sorted all you need to do then is this obviously this was all set under this basic data log so you go to basic data log and you click on mark all you can see since the car's not started yet um it's got it's flat lining so all i have to do now is start the car okay i'll turn on the car okay. let's expand that so you can see the other parameters there as well if i flip the throttle now See the change is happening okay now uh, to uh, start the data log so you'd go this one here data log I'll bring up that table you can obviously move this across start the data log there it goes it's recording everything now uh, you will see up here is the lambda sensor 
Now the lambda sensor is flat lining because it hasn't warmed up yet so it's not activated. You'll see that as you drive along it will start working. But you just stop the date log and then you can close all this down. You want to see where the file is saved. The file will be saved in the, the Testo folder and it will be the top one and it'll have the date next to it. So you open the file. And then you'll have all your parameters across the top. And you obviously want to freeze that, so you freeze the frames. Freeze that, so now you can scroll down and obviously you need to put all the columns so you can see them. So just make that about there got all your data you can have a play with that if you're good at spreadsheets you'll know what you're doing so anyway that's the data so we've got the data you can do all sorts of things with that data you can look at it see what sensors are not working properly these data logs are primarily for tuning purposes okay that's all we have time for today i hope you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see further content and what i'm doing with my e46 project until then Take care.